Hey there, it's Kristen with Kdesenko, and today I'm going to show you two methods that you can use to create multiple different formats inside of one text box within your Show It website. So there's two methods, like I said, to do this. The first one is actually using the built-in Google fonts that Show It already has within their app. Um, so this makes it actually pretty easy to do um, this type of treatment where you can see there's italics, um, there's uppercase, there's kind of general basic formatting with like a regular variation of the font. Um, so this is actually pretty easy to do. And then the second method is just using a little bit of CSS um, where you can combine uh, multiple different fonts inside of the same um, text box or um, different variations or weights of those fonts. So here I am going to show you the first method. I'm just using the built-in Google fonts. The one um, Thing that you need to have in place before that you can do this is you need to make sure that in your design settings you have multiple variations of the Google font loaded. Um, so if you go over here to your Google fonts, you can see that you have all of these, um, all of the Google fonts available to you. And then they usually most fonts have more than one weight, not all of them, but most of them. Um, and especially the ones that I'm using here in this template, the Becca template, um, we already have several weights preloaded for you um, based on the template style. So we're using DM Sans and Noto Serif display. Those are kind of the, the two main fonts. And then we have a few different weights of them to achieve different um, looks within our text boxes across the template. So um, you'll notice that I have both light and light italic and ultralight and ultralight italic. So I'm using those for different things throughout the site. And then DM Sam's, I have um, light, normal and semi bold. So you can actually use the built in uh, fonts and the built in formatting tools with inside of show it to achieve um, some cool results. So in practice, this is what this looks like. So this text box in particular here on this section of the template, um, you can see is kind of implementing all of those features. So um, how this is done basically is we start with one font. You can only have one font assigned to your text box and show it. You can see that here, but just using kind of the basic um, inline formatting tools, you can achieve um, some variation with that. So I'm going to show you how um, this section was created by just starting from scratch. Um, so make sure that it's uh, you don't have any italic or bold formatting clicked. Um, and then um, when you first create a text box, um, you'll see something like this on the page. And then you're going to start um, typing your text. So uh, it starts with determination and it's your moment to make a move. Okay, so let's say this is what the text is. It might be um, whatever you want to put. And then this is where you can um, use your inline formatting tools to add a little bit of variation. So let's say I wanted the starts to be italic. So all you have to do is highlight it and hit italic. And then it's going to serve up the um, the italic version of this font that we already have loaded. And then um, let's say we want this uh, text in particular, maybe we want this to be all caps. So you're just gonna retype that in all caps. Uh, there is a different method to use CSS, which I'll show you in a second, but um, this is a pretty easy way to achieve some variation with it. And of course you can select um, any aspects of it that you want uh, maybe to be italic or you want to rewrite to be all caps. Um, and then um, if you wanted some of these to be maybe slightly bolder, um, you could also do a bold. Um, so this will serve up the slightly uh, bolder version of the font that we also have loaded, which is actually still light, but it will look for any bolder version that you have. So you can see just within these basic formatting, uh, already built in to show it, we've created some variation and started to stylize the text beyond um, just assigning one text or one font um, for the entire text box. Okay, now this second method um, is going to be slightly different. Like I said, we're going to be using CSS to format things a little bit. And so what I want to do with this version is combine actually two fonts into the same text box. So um, just using the first method, you can only rely on that one font or variations of that font 
um, different styles and weights. Um, but the second version, I'm going to actually combine two of the fonts that we're using on the site. Again, the font that you're using, um, whether it's a Google font or it's a custom font, you need to make sure that you already have all of your fonts loaded and they're part of your active font over here on the right. And then you're going to be able to use them in your text box. So you just make note of the name that you're calling the font because if you aren't um, if you aren't writing the correct name into the CSS uh, property rules, then it's not going to work correctly. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So we're going to go ahead and clear this out. Um, I'm going to actually just start with a brand new text box. Let's go ahead and make it um, a title text box. I'll add it to the page center it up and just make it white just to give us a place to start and then maybe we'll actually make it a little bit bigger than that okay so we have this and let's say we want to um, let's go ahead and write our text in okay so this let's go ahead and make it um lowercase or normal case just to start this is your moment Time to shine. Okay, sounds like something Becca would say, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the text that we're working with. And now let's say we wanna really bring some more emphasis to a couple of these words besides what we can do just with um, like italic or bold. Um, so we actually wanna use a different font. So I'm gonna target moment and shine as our kind of special words so this is a cool little trick in show it is all you need to do is hit option if you're on mac um, i'll have to find the um i think it's alt for windows users but i'll have to put that in the um, video notes below so option and then double click your text box and you will be able to edit the html behind the text box um, so we're going to isolate this um, word specifically moment and then shine um, so what we're going to do is add a span around um, this word and this is an html element that's going to help us format specifically this word so with your span you're going to have your opening tag um, and then we're going to actually add a style um, element here and then we are going to put these little arrows around it and then close our span there. So in between these two quotation marks in your style, this is where we're going to define the font that we want it to use instead of the font that is default by the text box settings. So we're going to add, um, sorry, I missed an equal sign here. So we're gonna add font dash family colon, and then we are going to define the font. So when you're using Google fonts um, that have multiple weights, um, you actually need to just define the base font name and then for the weight portion that is a secondary property that you're going to add um, so we're just going to call it dm sans um, and then make sure that the font name has a singular quote around it and then you're going to add a semicolon after this first uh, property and then we're going to define the weight so font dash weight and then colon again and then let's say uh, font weight i think is on a scale of like 100 to 900 so if you want to do a little bit bolder then you're going to want to do something like 600 700 um so let's go ahead and do um 700 to make this a bold font and then we'll end it with a semicolon so let's go ahead and test this out and see if it worked okay so you can see that that worked great for us um, another thing that you can do um, if you really want to switch it up is you can make um, the uh, word all uppercase. So the property for that is actually text-transform. And then you're going to do uppercase and then a semicolon at the end of that. So now that we have that, we're actually going to copy the same styles all up until that little arrow bracket and then we'll do this same thing on the word shine so all we need to do is add the end span tag and we're going to have two similarly formatted pieces of text so now we can see we can just adjust the text box a little bit and now we have these very bold 
um, kind of moments within our text that help it to stand out and have these uh, variations and formatting. So hopefully you found this helpful and you can use this um, tip to, you know, really bring some variety and variation to your designs.